Okay, we couldn't have Ashley on North Dakota today all week, <laughs> all week and without having her show off some of her delicious and always healthy okay. recipes as well. I give you a hard time because <laughs> I don't always like my food to be healthy. I do know that I need to, to eat healthy. But yeah. um, today you're making something that, that is you going were going to taste, like. It's going to be so Lisa good approved. That, <laughs> Lisa, usually say kid approved today, Lisa, Lisa approved. approved. And uh, you kind of have an Olympic theme here. One week yeah. from the Olympics, red, white, and blue. blue I love yeah. that. And, you know, it's going to be like 90 degrees all next oh, week. Yes. So we need a cool treat that we can feel good about, I think is, is a good place to start. Yeah, I love that so, idea. So this is also one of the ways that I always make my smoothies, in a smoothie bowl. So oh, I don't want to okay. use a straw, I want to use a spoon. You know what, I think, before we get into it, I, I've done some different um, diets yeah. where you do shakes and things, and I think sometimes when you put your smoothie in a bowl, it's more satisfying, because yeah. then you're, you're actually you know, like, you're like you're eating something versus just drinking, drinking it. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm okay. So well, yeah, an there. Olympic okay. smoothie bowl. Good. Um, I saved you guys the blender noise. Okay. So I pre-did this, but I take um, a half cup of like almond milk. I use a non-dairy milk, usually coconut, whatever you'd like, and then a frozen banana. So I always put keep frozen bananas in the freezer. Usually I have them in like two pieces. So I took a frozen banana, half a cup of almond milk, a scoop of vanilla protein powder, and I use plant-based, but you could use whatever you'd like. <laughs> and then uh, two cups of ice is all it was. And I blended it up, and it is, where's the camera here? Super thick and creamy. So we're just gonna pour that into our bowl here. So see, nothing scary. No, nothing scary at all. <laughs> how come you use, I mean, you just prefer almond milk or different, uh, how, can yeah. you use water or could you use regular milk? Can you you use could, yeah, it gets a creamier, milk. I would say, with milk. Oh, okay. So I would, you know, go for that. Okay, now, there are so many different ways because I wanted to do red, white, and blue, I wanted the base to be white, but a lot of times I add spinach. And if you ever buy a bunch of spinach and you don't eat it all, just throw it in the freezer. Okay. And then Before you can just bad, yeah, then. and then just okay. put it in your smoothie. And you don't really taste that, but no, it, it does don't. give a different color. Yeah. So it would be nice and green. And then I mean, there'd be some vegetables. Yeah. I have put cauliflower in, but there's no cauliflower in here. Okay. <laughs> and also I feel like avocado. That's sneaky you would do to me yeah. actually. <laughs> I was like a spinach and cauliflower smoothie. I'm like that's not what and I signed up for. So like this is like, you know, it's not a sippable, it's like a scoopable. So it's yeah, like so ice you, cream. That does look like ice cream. Um, okay. Now we can decorate it. So red, white and blue, you know. I love this. I just brought like fruit. Okay. Like what a great refreshing the kids, my girls healthy, would love this too you know, way to... And then you have something you're kind of chewing on there. Yeah, I mean, you too. could use your hands too if you want. The bananas are the only one that are kind of sticky. So I have raspberries, strawberries, uh, blackberries. I was, you know, we could have blueberries also. And then I did bring in some mini chocolate chips. They are dairy-free, although um, they aren't blue. They were just a little that. bit darker. That is and really And then pretty. even like... Um, coconut, shredded coconut, and then I said there's one thing on here you maybe haven't tried. Yes, what is um, this? Hemp seeds. So high in protein, high in fiber, great plant-based protein, so just a little extra crunch on top. Oh, okay. So, Let's yeah, I, on there. you know, like I buy a big bag of them usually, but they're so good for you. So this, when you talk about this having some protein and you talked about your protein powder, can you add, tell us a little bit more about why we should add protein powder. It kind of holds you over a little bit longer, yeah. right? Or yep. keeps it you full? Keeps you full. Um, you know, it's just good for being active, you know. Instead of, ha you know, we have a lot of fruit already. So, you know, it's great to give your body that um, protein also. At Did I put too much of the seed on there, do you think? Oh, no. No? No. I mean, I would put like two tablespoons probably. Okay. One, two tablespoons. So that, you know, and you could do it like red, white, blue, however kind you want like to. Flag. And then, you know, this is a thing like you could make, you could quadruple the recipe. This and make like for your whole family. For two this is for I know. both of us, it's I think, right? That's why there's well, two. Actually, <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, that's, that's just, for oh, one person. Really? That's for one person? Yeah. Okay. One well, scoop of protein. Great. So, yeah, it's like you feel like, wow, I get this whole thing. And so really, that didn't take very long either. No. And really, I mean, with even with the blending, it was seconds. I love it. Perfect so, smoothie bowl for an Olympia. So you'll have to taste okay, it. Okay, I'll, like, right well, I'll taste it. I'll taste it in the break because uh, <laughs> we got to go. We'll take a quick break when we come back. Uh, a delicious deal as well from our VNL Deal of the Week. And there's the uh, recipe. We'll make sure this gets yeah. posted a little bit later to our uh, North Dakota Today Facebook page as well.